so the lining will basically be the same shape and we will be using the same pattern pieces for it. We'll just be making one change, and that is that this part that wraps around, uh, I'm going to extend the lining a little bit on this edge, which is the edge that runs around your leg, because I'm going to want to fold it down double and then sew it down. This is the lining ladder that I use that I usually use. Um, as you can see, I have precious little left of it. I'll be using this for the toe and for the middle piece if I can fit them, that should work. Now for the back I'm going to be using this a slightly heavier. Um, I would use this if I had enough of it, but I don't, so I'll use this. It's a bit thicker, uh, which will make it more sturdy. Uh, however, the thing to keep in mind is that we don't want the good side to be out. We want the good side to be in, because this is the lining, it will be the inside of the shoe. I want the nice side of the layer to be on the inside. So let's mark and cut out our lining. With our lining pieces cut out, we're going to apply the same process to construct the lining. First, we're going to nail this middle part in place, and then we're going to be gluing the tip and the back section in place. We're going to let the glue dry, and then we're going to sew it <coughs> together. The lining has been glued together. <coughs> Um, this time around I haven't been that careful with uh, excess glue because this will be on the inside between the lighting and the outer so nobody will ever see that. Don't have to worry about that. I'm going to let this dry a little and then I'm going to also sew it together. <laughs> 